Uh, great. Just before I start filming, I get the damn yawns. Eh, it's always fun. Why is my keyboard so far away? Hey guys, did you miss me? <laughs> I know I haven't uploaded anything in a long ass time. <sighs> Just been lazy as fuck. Ooh, oh, that's, oh, that was out of whack. Gotcha. Huh. Anyway, this is Empires of the Undergrowth, and I have been a diehard fan of this game ever since I found it. I have been playing it so damn much that I have literally gotten carpal tunnel in my elbow and my my hands and joints of my fingers from the mouse and from oh man. So we're gonna I have been meaning to do a video on this game since I started playing it. But oh man, I had to rest up a bit. So <laughs> you think I'd get carpal tunnel on this hand, but apparently not. So anyway, so this is a ant simulator, and it's a uh, top-down kind of uh, management RTS or something, but I really don't know how to describe it. I, all I know is that ever since I played Alien vs. Predator Extinction way back when on the PS2, I think, I have been loving these type of games, and so we're going to dive right in. And I have deleted all of my formicariums because I'm anal retentive. <laughs> and I love starting new games for some reason. I've been that way with other games like uh, Subnautica. I love starting new games for some dumb reason. Uh, go figure. Anyway, so we're going to... This will be kind of a step-by-step -step process of how to play the game too. And I'll show you what, I, what I've done. Uh, in the what my strategy is, so I'm gonna go with red ants. I'm gonna call you the cult of Fusca. All right, and we'll be vaping in this, so deal with it. Ah, I see the queen has taken well to her new home. It, it's fascinating. She has already started to spawn. Incredible, really, that we found such a healthy specimen. <coughs> How long until we can expect to see interspecies polymorphism? We should be patient and allow the colony to grow first. I've placed food nearby. Then we will introduce the Formica Fusca and observe their reaction. Excellent. Keep me updated on their progress. They're right. beginning to expand their territory. Excellent news. So you, your main ant colony that you play as is this, and it's in a scientist's lab somewhere, and you're in this giant aquarium. So, and this is the underground. This or hmm. this map. Is something wrong? Huh? I, I have provided them with food just a few centimeters south of the queen, but, but they don't seem to be interested. If they are too distressed to collect food, then we will have to replace the colony and start again. Such a terrible waste. <laughs> so anyway, up here you get the surface. And uh, you can see uh, it's got uh, hoses that uh, allow other uh, ants into your uh, aquarium. And uh, I'll sh you'll see that happen in a little, uh, maybe, a, not this video, but maybe in a later video. I'll do like a little series of these, so... Stay tuned. So, this is your queenie. And these are your worker ants. These, these ants here, these are your nursery ants. And these are important. These are important. Because these ones will deliver the eggs to uh, your, all your uh, uh, nursery tiles. And right now, I don't have anything. So, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to make a food chamber down here at the bottom. So, I got 21 territorial marks. Points. <clears throat> and uh, what? The, oh God! Uh, come on, come on, work. <clears throat> oh man, making videos is easy. <laughs> I get the yawns, and now I got phlegm in my throat. Yeah. Uh, so 
them. Yeah. Anyway, so territorial points here. You got territorial points. You get royal jelly, and then you get food. Food is used for spawning ants and making tiles. Royal jelly is if you go over to this DNA icon thing here, the uh, tech tree. This uh, is where you spend that to upgrade your ants. So right now I have nothing, and uh, we're gonna go and do some scenarios here or some missions to get royal jelly to upgrade our queen here in a little bit. But I'm, right now I need a food chamber. So I've got 21 uh, territory points. So one, two, three, four. I think I'll make it five long. One, two, three, four, five. Because it's going to be a big one. So, let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that's as big as I'm going to make it for now. So I only have three left, and uh, I'm anal retent up that way. So go over here to the food tile icon and just start making food tiles and uh, they do cost food so yeah five food each and that'll work for now so now I need these nursery ants to get this food over here so I'm gonna put them in column one and then Mouse click off. I'm left handed, so I don't know if it's left mouse click or right mouse click. Probably right mouse click. <laughs> I don't know. So here we go. So I'm going to put, you know, that food stored away there. Uh, the scientists do drop extra food out here, like big piles of them. So we're, right now there's nothing. So we're going to have to go do missions here soon. But I want to make sure they go and get that done. Back in the nursery uh, column here. So when you get worker ants in your nursery column, they will tend to the nursery. They'll send eggs to the, the egg tiles uh, or your 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 ant spawning tiles and stuff. So that's really important that you have uh, a good amount of them in there. And you'll see here why in a bit. <laughs> so all right. So you can't see because of my face cam, but there's two. Uh, buttons up here in the upper left. Clicking the lower one will take you to this menu and this is uh, kind of like stage one here and it has two missions and then well actually it's, it's actually three missions here. You have these two basic ones where you earn uh, whatever you need, food, uh, territory or j royal jelly and then you got this like challenge mission here which is a gateway mission that unlocks these and it's, it's Pretty much the same thing, just different missions and uh, more difficulty. So yeah. Mm. So yeah. And so what we're gonna do in this episode is go to this mission, a new home. And I'm gonna do it a medium. I've just yet today learned how to do it on hard mode, but uh, for the sake of my hand. <laughs> hand and my carpal tunnel I'm gonna do it on medium so and uh, when you do these like the first time uh, during a play um, like when you launch the game you get these bonuses if you complete it rewards included in the first time play bonus right here and challenge mode is off right now but if you had put it on easy oh wait really it's, it's off you must complete the oh all right I haven't done it for this form of carrion yet right <clears throat> but it has a new type of NPC called like, like a burrowing cricket or something and it's, they spawn randomly all over the place even in your nest so it's crazy but uh, yeah we're gonna do this so 51 plus 51 world jelly will give us a good boost to uh, upgrade our queen here so here we go This Formica Fusca queen has set up home beneath a rotting log. She is fat and vulnerable. Her first brood will need to move quickly if the colony is to survive. 
Their priority now is to find food, and there is plenty around. But there are other hungry creatures down here. The workers will need to be vigilant. Alright, so for a new home, I've, the uh, rule of the game is numbers. You gotta, gotta just grow in numbers. So... That's been my strategy for this mission, anyway. So we're gonna go go and get these food. Uh, we're gonna use this area as our worker or our black ant nursery, and then we're gonna turn this area over here into our food nursery. So yeah, wait, no, I want that one. Yeah. The ants have encountered a pocket of woodworm. These defenseless weevil larvae will make an excellent meal for the colony. They will be Get butchered em. and carried off for Get processing. Kill. Kill. Oh. oh, yeah, all right. I forgot about that. <laughs> what was it? Uh, what was it? C? Yeah. C button toggles their health bars and their upgrade level. So that's really nice. And at the beginning, I like to have that on. So I'm going to quickly get this dug out from my anal retentive style. Now this whole mission should take about 30 minutes to complete. So sit down and shut up and keep watching. We got over here, more over here. Typically, with the food tiles in the beginning, uh, around 300 or so, then as I start getting more food, I'll upgrade it all to about 500. And then, uh, if I start getting doing good, <laughs> then I'll upgrade it to a thousand. <laughs> so, and you're gonna want uh, a lot of food, about 500. Food, because up in here is where it's like the last area you want to open. That's when you want to have the highest numbers and the most food, because there's a bunch of baddies in that one. That's like the worst of it. So you'll see in a bit. All right, so I'm gonna open up the uh, black ant area nursery. Oop. You guys left one. Get over here. Get over here and get that. You guys forgot one. I don't like that. My calling will be perfect. All right. Oh, oh wow. There's there was two. Huh. All right. Put them back in the nursery tile, and then we'll make our first black ants. Black ants, nursery tile, formica fifica. Costs 50 food to place, 5 to hatch. So that's why we needed that 347 food there. So I typically want about 5 to 8 of these guys before I start doing much. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 we'll have to do. We'll attack this area first because I need it. So. Alright, so they'll start. Taking the eggs from the queen and laying them in the food or hatch tile. Are these hatch tiles? No, they're called nursery tiles. Okay. 
And uh, you can't see because my face came over here. It says objectives: kill all nearby creatures, which is, which is basically the whole map here. So that's what the whole objective is. All right, so I'm gonna put my black ants in column one. Tell them to come over here and get ready, and then oh, I'm going to carve this whole thing out. The workers have uncovered carnivorous larvae of Ochipus Olens, the devil's coach horse. They are born ready for combat, with powerful slicing mandibles for chopping up their prey. They are still small, however, and must undergo a final pupation before their armor is fully developed. <coughs> if the ants are fast, they should be able to overwhelm these critters. All if right. the ants had disturbed the adult of these larvae, the outcome for the colony may not have been so fortunate. They Six, must expand with caution. Seven, and that's all. Next, I'm gonna get these bastards. I'm gonna haul them onto this area. Only the worker ants ever do the uh, tunneling. The uh, black ants and the, uh, the other wood ants uh, don't do that. So always remember that. Alright, so we're up to seven now. Alright, get damn fuckers. There are intruders in the nest. Now, automatically, when there's no threat, they'll, they will uh, grab any food nearby and bring it to the. Uh, the food chamber here, which I could probably upgrade now. So I'm gonna upgrade that. If you just click on one and then hold down the button, it'll drag it around. It will, uh, like, not do it. Just thing. So. The workers have done all they can to prepare yeah. this brood chamber. Six hundred. All right. All right, next is them. This area here. So I'm gonna tuck all food off and demonstrate that for you. Because typically I want them to focus Predators on the fight. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Oh, they got this. Alright, we got it. So, with, <clears throat> with uh, allow gather off, they'll just kind of just meander around here, but we need that food. So. So, what I'm going to do here is. I want to create a little area <coughs> here for some worker ants. One, two, three. Well, three should do it. Maybe four. Yeah, I'll go four. And these guys will go with my main force here so that I can make tunnels when I want to and I don't have to wait for a nursery ant to go all the way up the map, <laughs> which can take a while. So, alright. We all good? One minute, seven, eight, eight, nine, and ten. I'll go with the ten. When I get to about twenty, I'm gonna upgrade. Well, no, I don't, I'm not gonna upgrade them. I'm not gonna upgrade any ants on, on this map. It's just a numbers game. You just Make about 30 or 35, and you and to have like three or 500 food, and you're good. You're good. So that's the strategy here. So and should I go up the middle? No, 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 no. I want I want like time to spawn new uh, ants. So. <laughs> This 
this will make a great choke point for uh, uh, getting the big ones when they come down. So. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Lice will make a significant addition to the colony's larders, but they are clinging tightly to the ground. It's going to take some effort to dislodge them. bastards because we're gonna need them nursery ants, I can have a much, many more eggs uh, delivered to the nursery tiles because uh, when we get up here to these bigger amounts of enemies and there's going to be adult coach horses up here and they're going to slaughter our army. So the trick is is to continuously be spawning new black ants all the time. And that's why we're going to have to have a lot of food. Because it's going to take a couple waves here and there. So, just so you know. So, be ready. And I get that one too. Let's see. So, really? 17? Did I miscount that? Why is it saying 17? Oh! I'm an idiot. I forgot about these guys. So, 1, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That should do it. fine. <laughs> I was playing this on hard mode today and oh man was it stressful. <laughs> it is really tough because the enemies are a lot harder to kill. They take a lot more damage or more damage resist and in the, the higher the difficulty. So man. So that's why I'm leaving this big swath of freaking battleground here because it's just a strategy <laughs> all right so we're all done with the food no nope, a little bit more 
A little bit more? Okay. <coughs> All right, I think we got enough up here now to dig out these guys. <coughs> and where's my worker ants? I have four of them. There they are. Right there. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Get them. Get them. Get them. Yeah. This area. And I think I might risk going 20. I don't know. No, I'll do it after these, after this batch of threats here. All right, get all that food down there. Come on. Predators oh, are loose in the nest. Shit. The larvae must be protected. This could go bad. This is why I, I went with 15 workers. Continually dropping eggs over here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, I hope, I hope I have enough food for this. Come on, come on. One by one, one by one. All right, three left, three left. close. That was actually a little close. But you can see why I left, you know, a long route here, because I needed, I needed the, the time to get these eggs uh, hatched and uh, get decent numbers on them. So that's, yeah. Alright, get those harvested. Then we'll go into here. Oh, my worker's already there. Yeah. All right, anything to do here? Well, Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Yeah, I'm gonna go for more though. Get all that harvested. Okay, I'm happy with that. Alright, guys, get up there and get that food. Come on. Alright. So. I'm gonna go this way here and get that. Okay, 200, 300. 
hundred. Yeah. Let's hope it's enough. There are intruders in the nest. There's an adult culture in this one, and at least two in this one. That's why we're gonna do those last. Because I don't think there's any adults in these. Or this. So that's the only spot. So we're gonna do that last. But first, I'm gonna Yeah, I think I'll go this way. And I'm just gonna start saving up my food now. I think 25 is a good one. Predators are loose in the nest. Jesus. The larvae must be protected. nursery ants. That's really good. It means I can spawn my army faster. Alright, get in there and then get all that crap. Maybe it was in hard mode, didn't it? Yeah. Okay, yeah, since I got so much extra food, yeah, I'll just make more ants. There are intruders in the nest. <clears throat> I love watching their health bars drain so fast. <laughs> Alright, 
that was taken care of. Now, medium mode, I don't know. There could be an adult in there, I don't know. You know what, let's check out the adult in this one. Let's, let's deal with that. First, I'm gonna wait for everybody to get back up here. There are intruders in the nest. The ants have stumbled into the path of a fully developed devil's coach horse beetle, and it's hungry for breakfast. The beetle is almost four times the size of a black ant, and protected by thick plates of external armor. Whilst it bites at the tiny defenders, it sprays foul-smelling secretions from the end of its raised abdomen, disorientating the ants. The devil's coach horse is dead. Its corpse will provide food to support dozens of new brood. And I think for the hell of it, I will upgrade one row. Right, I'm gonna go over here and get these guys. Intruders in the nest. Good enough. So now, so I'll put you guys here. Make sure everybody's done bringing the food back. Oh shit! Three hundred. Okay. <laughs> Four seventy. Okay. Yeah, we're doing good. Okay. All right, everybody, make your way back up there. Got eggs all laid out, ready to go. All right, we're ready. We are as ready as we'll get. 570, yes, we are, we're definitely ready. Here we go, guys, class. We're... Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Oh, this is gonna be brutal. Pull back and regroup. Wow. I love this strategy. <laughs> it's working so well. Come on. Come on. Work them down. Work down their numbers. Come on. Just the adults. Just the adults. Come on. Keep that flow going. Keep that flow. Keep that flow. Come on. <laughs> A 
literal meat to the meat grinder. Come on, we can get him. We can get him. 300. Uh, work harder. Work harder, guys. Come on. <laughs> Don't lay down on the job. Where are you going? Oh, 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 man. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 200. Oof. Almost got one. Yes. Last one, last one. Victory. Victory. This Formica Fusca colony has now established itself as a rising power in the undergrowth. Soon their territory will need to expand above ground, where new challenges await. For the time being, however, the Queen is safe. Alright, so I need royal jelly. <laughs> now I can play more, or I can end a level. I want to play it out a little bit more. Just a little bit. Because I am so in Nintendo. Get up there and get that. And I think I'll close it off by spending the rest of the food on upgrading all the The workers these have done all they can to prepare this brood chamber. Alright. There. That way I can have peace of mind that in the future I have prepared them the best I can. Like children. <laughs> Alright. So that time total took 32 minutes. Combat score 1,984. Resources collected 4,290. Construction and upgrades 3,030. Time bonus multiplayer 145. Okay, so yeah. So spoils of your former for your former carrium is plus 20 territory, plus 71 jelly, and 1,658. No achievements, though. I lost well, still early access. So, we'll return back. How is the colony progressing? The Queen is exhibiting interesting new behaviors. I believe the colony is beginning to adapt. Uh-oh. They're mutating. <laughs> okay, so... What do I want to do? What do I want to do? Well, I don't have much. Got 71. Oh, I need 100. Yeah. Oh, I can do 50 on this. Yeah, I'll... Nah. So what you want to really want to do is just kind of do these missions over and over and just gather up your, your stuff up here. Uh, and, uh, yeah. So that's how you do a uh, new home. Um, it really helps to have those uh, nursery ants, this, like 15 of them, just constantly bringing eggs over to the, the nursery tiles. So, yeah. That's how I do it, anyway. Ooh, upgrade you. So, right now, see, I want to. Well, I don't have enough territory points. I can build a chamber for worker ants, because I want to make 20 worker ants. But I only have three extra tiles. So, yeah, I'm going to keep doing these missions over and over and uh, build up some points and some territory and everything before I start messing around. But basically, what we're going to do is, uh, I don't know, somewhere for off of this chamber, we'll make a little tunnel and then make uh, a chamber and start making worker ants. But not in this episode, sorry. <laughs> but I'm being more attentive. So yeah, uh, I think for now, I'll end this video, upgrade the crap out of this, with all the food I got, because they they did drop food up here, yeah, right here, so we'll go out and gather all that, uh, which is going to suck, because I only have seven ants right now. <laughs> What I probably could do is make some temporary ones around here. 
Uh, I don't know. Get that one, guys. Come on. Don't be lazy. Come on, what's wrong with you guys? Don't be lazy. Anyway. So, yeah. I'm gonna do that and spend a while just watching them gather all this and listening to the piano music play. Man, this game is this so up my alley. I love it. Come on, guys. Alright, I'm almost out of food, so I'm gonna put them in column one. And... Begin. Oh, and I want to toggle off prevent attack so they don't wander off and start getting these things. Getting live uh, critters there. Yeah, I like that one. Alright, so the next episode we will tackle Subjugation Mission 2. So. I hope you guys enjoyed, like, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.